What's going on everybody and welcome back to another episode of Bee Fishing. And we are here at Chris's house and we're about to build fish structure for the pond. So the mega bass factory is about to be loaded with just tons of structure. But today we're gonna do a small sample of that. We're gonna build probably two or three. Um, we're gonna see how that goes first before we just go nuts and put stuff all over the place. And uh, we'll, I'll show you. We, we went to Lowe's and picked up some stuff. Even met a special guest. Check it out. subscribers there you go Watch santa. Out. thanks santa all right gonna make it happen all right so here's the deal here's what we're doing we've got buckets we've got black like irrigation tubing we've got some half inch pvc 10 foot pvc we've got the lids on the buckets we got concrete that's really all you need for the project so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start drilling holes in the buckets. Um, and we're gonna start weaving that, that irrigation tubing through it. And that's gonna be our bottom structure. It's gonna be uh, real spaghetti-like. Check it out. Like I'm thinking like try to put one right here. Okay. First, hit a five eighths, see if it'll fit. For just a spider out? Yeah. Okay. It's roughly two foot. A little slit right there. Based on the limited research we've done online, you need to cut a little slit in this pipe um, just so it'll fit in these holes. Goodness. All right, so this is basically what we're gonna do all over the place. And we're gonna turn them up, we're gonna turn them out, we're gonna any which direction. But that, in a million other places, it's gonna be awesome. That don't look too shabby. We took a perfectly good bucket and we made it look like this. Right here? Yeah. And it's real soft plastic. So. Oh yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed that stuff that me and Chris are doing. We're trying to make some structure for this pond. Uh, that was just our first attempt. We're obviously gonna have to make many more of those. Uh, but we've got that one like brim structure or fry structure, it's smaller. Um, just a lot of that black tubing. And then we've got one that's a little bit bigger. The real fun part's gonna be the video when we actually deploy the things. Um, because I'm not sure we can really do that from a kayak successfully just because they're so wide and they're about 30 pounds each. So that's gonna be a load of fun. Um, but let me get this, let me get this feeder, feeder done and then uh, we'll, uh, we'll be done with the video.
All right, everybody, that is gonna do it. Um, that's been your pond update, and I think it's gonna be great. We're, we've got the fish, we've got the structure. Um, we've actually found out this is spring fed, which is why it's got that look to it. It's got that little aqua green look to the water. So we've tested the water quality and it is mwah, on point. We're really excited about it and we hope you are too. So we're only, I mean, just probably a few years away. But anyway, I'm gonna end this video here. I wanna wish every one of y'all a Merry Christmas. Um, I believe it's gonna be Christmas Eve when I release this, which tomorrow's Christmas Eve in current present day. So Merry Christmas to everybody and a Happy New Year. I'm sure I'll have another video up before the new year. Just sort of recapping the year. Um, the year I started this channel, 2018, going into 2019, a big 2019. So anyway, guys, I really appreciate the view. I appreciate the all support. Go ahead and smash that thumbs up if you like the if you like the video. Um, leave a comment down below about maybe what your New Year's resolution is outdoor wise for the upcoming year. Um, and guys, enjoy Christmas. Hang out with the family. Um, there's no better time of year. So we're gonna do it. Let's go do it for today. Hey. I'm B-Fishing Brett. We'll catch you guys next time. Merry Christmas.